Hello everyone, welcome to Woof 101. In today's tutorial, I'll be explaining the passing mechanic. For starters, you need to know there are three main types of passes in World of Football. First, you have the right click pass, which has the yellow bar. Secondly, you have the left click pass, which has the red bar. And lastly, you have the lob pass, which uses the X button. I'll be dividing each of these three into sections, and I will explain things like when should you use them, how to perform them, and how to practice them. Let's begin with the right click pass. For the right click pass, you just press right click to perform it. The right click pass is a low pass and is similar to the through pass in FIFA, which is done using the triangle button. The right click pass is best used in a situation where you want to make a long through pass or when you are trying to give a close teammate a short pass. This is the easiest pass to perform as all you need to do is press right click and potentially press E or Q to curve the pass. To practice this pass, it is the best if you go on a private server with two of your friends and start making a passing triangle, where each of you only has two touches trying to keep the ball in your position. Once the long promised training equipment is added into the game, this will definitely be an outdated way to practice the passing. Moving on to the left click pass, the left click by its nature is a strike slash shooting button but it is commonly used by most of the pro players as an alternative passing option. You can of course use it to make a long high pass but it is usually used for common low passes. In this tutorial I will try to show an example of the two versions of the left click pass. The left click pass is best used in a situation where more curved slash middle length pass. It is also used by the goalkeepers since the right click pass is disabled inside the box. To perform all the low pass versions using the left click pass button, you need to jump and choose which part of the ball you hit. Hitting the lower part of the ball will make, the, will make a long high pass. Hitting the lower middle is usually used for shooting but can work for also a strong cross. Hitting the middle or the middle upper part will make you do a low pass. Now going to the last type of passes in this video, let's discuss the lob pass. The lob pass is the least used type of pass even though it can be very overpowered in certain situations. This pass is best when used in short distance situations. It is a very unexpected move and it surprises most of the opponents when done correctly. To perform the lob pass you have two options. You can either press the X button or you can hold both the left click and right click pass buttons at the same time. Doing that would definitely help you optimize your keybinds. It is just worth mentioning that if you add a jump to this pass, it will make the ball go further away. 